on Hollywood. Good to see you. Come on here. Either way, it doesn't make any difference. Either. You work it out. You, you, you work together. Boy, that's... Boy, they love it. Good stuff. Good to see you. Well, it's not. You two really complement each other. You work together really, really well. First of all, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, that was nice. Good job. You sound... You probably got this question asked last night. You know, they always have the post thing backstage with all the reporters yelling questions. Did you expect... You, of course, you hope to win. I mean, everybody hopes to win. It'd be silly if you didn't. Did you expect to? Well, when we did the recording, uh, when we left the studio, I told it to meet you at the Grammys. <laughs> <laughs> and you met all right, right? Yeah. How about you, Lena? Well, it's just... You know, I, I don't feel like I can ever afford the emotional investment to worry about prizes, you know. It's, I love the music so much, right. but it's always nice to be recognized. Especially and, and, with the people who, in the business who do what you do. It was a good night. Well, my favorites won Bette Midler and Bonnie yeah. Raitt. I mean, I just was going nuts. That's I nice, screamed huh? the whole night long. This is nothing new for you. You've got a few of these yourself. you have any idea how many you have? I don't know. I'll bet you don't. <laughs> You've got a lot of them. Aaron, know. what do you got? Now, this is you. Two. Two. See, Aaron knows. See? <laughs> You had a you had a speech prepared last night. You you, you seemed to get a little. Uh, was it the emotion of the uh, moment? Uh? Oh, it definitely was. You know, I felt like Jackie Gleason. You know, humma, humma. <laughs> yeah, humma, 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 humma. What first, was it, What was he going to say? Well, I, I, when we were backstage, I said, well, "Okay, now just if we do, you know, what are we going to do?" And the one person that he wanted to thank was his wife. Uh -huh. And I knew that. And, and I also I'd written little names down on my hand, some of which I left out, but. I knew that, you know, he was talking and I saw him go by it and I went, I know I want to thank her, so I went, you know. <laughs> and forgot to thank her, forgot to thank And then I forgot to thank someone I had written on my hand, so. I did that once, they were holding a dinner for me and, and, and I got up and I got nervous and forgot to thank my wife who was sitting in the audience and, and went home. That was a long night. <laughs> But, you know, you just, you just, you just go up. When did you first get together? When did you first meet? 1984 at the World's Fair in New Orleans. See, he remembers stuff. I, I remember the event loud and clear. I don't remember when it was. But I ha have become very interested in New Orleans music. I, I loved it. The first time I ever went there, I was saying... It was the World's Fair, and I remember doing an interview on the Today Show saying, my God, you know, regionalism is alive and right. well here in New Orleans. They still have music that sounds like New Orleans. They still have food that tastes right. like New Orleans. The people look like New Orleans. It really is almost not... It's like uh, it's almost not like an American city yeah. because it's not like any other city in America. So and and because of my interest in the Neville Brothers music, that was what sort and of. And you guys were from New Orleans, weren't you? Yeah, we're from New Orleans. Yeah, you ever live any place but New Orleans? Um, like. One time I stayed in California for about a year. And, and then back to New Orleans. Go back to New Orleans all the time, yeah. <laughs> well, of course, New Orleans is responsible, I guess, one form of music the United States can lay claim to, and that's jazz. Well, you yeah. know, it's, you see the link there. You know, when it's West African five right. beat, you see it like there's a place where Professor Longhair turned it into a backbeat. Right. And there it is. It's, it's, it's spawned modern rhythm and blues and rock and roll as we know it. You, you like know, recording there? Do they have the facilities like Nashville? They're and starting to get them. And, I mean, honestly, there are so many great players down there and good writers. Alan Toussaint, I mean, right. what a good writer. You know, and it's current in the culture. It's not like it's in a museum. It's not jazz in the museum. And you go and you hear the oldies but goodies. Or It's not R&B in the oldies but goodies bin. It's yeah. current in the culture. People are using it to go to work with. You know what I admire about you? You don't. You take chances with your music. You know, you could have stayed in rock and roll, and then you did the pop thing with the late Nelson Riddle, and you, and then you do the Spanish things, and you, you know, you, you try different things in music. Well, I've always liked. A lot of people don't in, do that. Well, I like working in classic traditional right. genres, you know, and especially the ones that were there in my my living room when I was growing up. Now, right. Aaron, we're we're going to work together on Aaron's solo album. I'm going to produce it. Really? And it is she a good producer, Aaron? I think so. What's a producer really do now? <laughs> Sits there and puts the whole, all the elements together. A lot together. of knitting. A lot of That's knitting. Right. Yeah, I guess see that everything goes right in the studio and. Yeah. Go, you're flat. So if I never have to say that to him, it's like. Every I would vocal guess she knows perfect. what she's doing. It's definitely. Yeah. yeah we're think. gonna take a break and then we're gonna come back and you do something else for us. Sure. Because I know you can't stay and then do one thing for us. Okay, we'll be right back. Here we are. <laughs> 